Uh, hi, Eugene. Uh, I was very, well, I was very uh, both touched by the video you made and, and outraged. Um, I'm still quite upset. You did a good job with the juxtaposition of that female whose name is not worthy of mention. I did make a video uh, referencing her, but I mean, it's outrageous. But I don't want to talk too much about her. I'd like to talk about Brian Banks. Now, I had been familiar with the case. Uh, to some extent, but and I've done some reading up since watching your video. Thank you again for making the video. Uh, and I'm not wealthy, but I've pledged $25 to him. And uh, I'm going to post a link to his web page, and I'm going to make this a response to your video. And uh, I just want to say, uh, you know, If you can help this man, please do. Like I said, all I pledged was twenty-five dollars. I don't have a lot of money, but if you can, if it's only one dollar, try to help him out. Uh, this is a man whose life was torn away for years, and it doesn't seem likely that he's ever going to get it back completely. Uh, he still needs to be monitored by the police uh, and the local authorities. If you can help him, please try uh, to help, even if it's only a dollar. Because Whatever the ignorant accusations leveled at me by, well, you know who. At the end of the day, my channel is about helping men and showing compassion to men. And why? Because there is no compassion in this world for men. And if we as individual men do not elect, and do not choose to show compassion towards our fellow men, if we cho choose to ignore their pain and their suffering and this this gross injustice, and this gross injustice is an understatement, then, then we are complicit. The system is rigged against us. The system doesn't care for us. Women do not care for us. They don't care for our needs. They don't care how much harm or pain or destruction they inflict on us. They don't even care when we die. And that's all well and good. We know that. But the saddest thing that I have to confirm, and the saddest thing that I have to uh, realize, as many times as I have realized it, over and over and over again, is, is uh, that men don't care about their fellow men. That most men would throw their fellow men under a bus for the sake of a woman, for the sake of a hole, for the sake of a vagina. So women, by dint of their anatomy, are somehow divine, and yet we are scum. And why are we scum? Please read up on the story of Brian Banks. This, this, this man had a future very bright future. It was utterly destroyed by a by a female who who simply lied through her teeth with no repercussions, mind you. In fact she kept she kept a whole lot of money that she received due to her lies. You know, we, uh, look, I know this video isn't very coherent. I'm still pretty upset, to be honest. 
try to gather my thoughts here. We need to realize that we're on our own. But we should also try to have each other's back. You know the, uh, the saying that uh, no man is an island. Uh, it's from a famous poem. Every man's death diminishes me. For do not ask me for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. This is what the heart of my channel is about. If I can help a man, I'm going to do it. And no one is compelled to help, say, for example, Brian Banks or, or anyone, but uh, we're out here in this world and we're on our, and we're on our own. The system does, doesn't like us, hates us, women hate us, and uh, unfortunately our fellow men do as well. And I don't really want to, I really don't want to talk about this, uh, this obnoxious feminist, but I'm willing to bet, almost willing to stake my life on it, the vast majority of her donors were female. And I think that his story can serve a positive purpose as well, though it's difficult to see the positive in it. Know the dangers of entangling alliances of women. Know that even that brief visitation to her room, so you can get your dick sucked and stick your dick in her hole, can have you end up just like him. It's that dangerous. It really is. And the idea that it could never happen to you, I maintain that to be foolish. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You can't predict it. Caution is due. And finally, let me just say, stop supporting women. Stop it. I mean, we have these things happening. And Brian Banks is, is just is this a told story. What about the untold stories? Now, I'm loath these days to bring up personal stories from my past, but uh, I can bring up one that is somewhat illustrative. When I was in a physically abusive relationship many, many years ago, and believe me, I was not the abuser, uh, I was laughed at initially uh, when, uh, when I brought up the issue to local police authorities. Uh, It's a very minor thing, of course, compared to Brian Banks, but I, I, I mention it to simply to indicate that we are in this on our own, and because of that, we need to get, get have each other's backs. You know, even if it's in a small, minuscule manner, uh, even if it's just pledging a dollar, or as I did, I only could pledge $25, do what you can. Um, I'm going to post. Uh, I'm going to post this as a response to uh, Eugene's video, and I'm also going to post a link to the Kickstarter project for Brian Banks. And no one's forcing you, but I I ask you from the bottom of my heart to 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 show compassion where compassion is due and should be due, uh, and show compassion to this man whose life was ripped away from him. If you can help them, help them. And even if you can't give money, read up on it, research it, write him if you can. We need to be our brother's keepers.
because no one else has our backs. That's all I have to say.